do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students in this video we will discuss about the periodic time of a satellite students in this video we will discuss about periodic time of a satellite periodic time of a satellite suppose that i have a satellite over here and uh, it uh, is revolving around earth this is earth this is a satellite and uh, it is moving with certain critical velocity that we have determined already that is v is equals to under root of gm over r and this one is the small r the orbital radius from the center of the planet now periodic time means how much time it will take to complete one uh, revolution or rotation around the planet starting from here it comes back to the same point again how much time it takes that is time period to find that then we have to see with what speed is cover moving and uh, how much distance is covers the speed uh, is a uh, distance it covers distance covered by the satellite divided by the time taken so i want time if the distance covered is exactly 2 pi r because the circumference length is 2 pi r so when the distance covered is 2 pi r then uh, that 2 pi r divided by total time is the speed that means i know the speed this one i know the distance i know this and i know this so i can find this one so when the distance is exactly equal to 2 pi r the time is called time period capital t the capital t is standing for the periodic time and the speed is also known which is v c so from here i can get the expression for t which is 2 pi r over v c so t comes out to be 2 pi r over v c what is vc vc we got last time it was under root gm over r so i substitute this value over here then i'll get this expression comes out to be 2 pi r divided by vc which comes out to be this one under root gm over r root this is root and this is power 1 this power is half this power is 3 by 2 so it is uh, 2 pi r to the power 3 by 2 and this is uh, under root of gm this expression is the expression for the periodic time but then we have to simplify this and uh, uh, write uh, how this t depends on what factors this t varies if i write uh, the squaring both sides of the equation i will have uh, t square equals to 4 pi square divided by under root uh, only gm will be there under root is over now it is uh, if i take the square this will be r to the power 3 so this expression by squaring i will get this one you can see clearly that uh, the square of the time period of the satellite is uh, proportional to cube of the radius 4 is a constant pi square is constant g and m will not change for any planet for any for the same satellite and planet this mass m is the mass of the planet unless you change the mass of the planet that means unless you change the planet we have different satellites moving about a given planet then this aim is fixed 
this capital G is fixed for any planet and any situations but for a given planet this M is fixed so for a given planet and we have different uh, satellites in different orbits how the time period and R are related it is only depending on the Q of the square of the time period is proportional to Q of the orbital radius that means as uh, you move uh, away from the center of the earth that means as uh, the radius increases time period will also increase so the, uh, the satellites which are uh, uh, very far away from the earth will have greater time period now this is the expression from here i will just have a relation that t square is proportional to q of radius this relation is also important for numericals that square of time period because uh, if i have two situations that if the radius is doubled suppose how much the time period will change so in that type of questions we will solve for afterwards but this is uh, the expression for the time period of satellite okay thank you